Jimmy, a baby from ETC. Yeah, look, I think um, this is sort of, uh, I guess, symptomatic of, of the way um, lighting manufacturers are responding to the need for maybe schools, houses of worship and small corporate operators for a smaller but more powerful console. You know, in a lot of these sorts of things like ballrooms, there there is a big emphasis from the clients. And we've seen it with audio consoles getting smaller and more powerful. For, for AV to take up less and less space. Mm. Um, and also the, the flip side to that is that you don't want to have to sit down and spend hours and hours learning a new operating system. This is a Color Source 20 from ETC, so-called because there's 20 faders. Um, there's also a Color Source 40 and there's other versions of this that have more DMX and Ethernet outputs as well. Now, the idea of this guy is that it's got 20 faders uh, which can be used to control uh, two banks of 20 fixtures. Mm -hmm. So you've got uh, fixture layers, or they call them channels, one to 20, and then you press right. a button here and you can flip that over so to 20 four, to 40. 40 fixtures, optimally. Yeah, now here's the other thing. Yep. You can press a button and change those to be playback faders. Mm. And then you press that same button again to choose, and you can have up to 10 pages of playback faders. So you can have 200 playback faders. I like how you can get into the parameters of a fixture. Yeah, uh, look, it, it's pretty cool actually. I haven't gone so far as to identify how you go about loading new fixtures into the thing, but I went in and picked you know, one of the fairly common moving lights off the industry. It doesn't look like it's a moving light console, but in the same way as the ION didn't really look like uh, it, it could do moving lights, it could. So can this. Um, you can go through and you can see your pan and tilt, yeah. and your, your beam gobo parameters, things like that. Um, and look, to be honest, I haven't done a lot of reading on this. I sat, I, I set it on the bench, I turned it on, and I thought, okay, let's see if we can just figure it out. Because mm. that's what your typical operator yeah. is going to need to be able to do with this. They're going to want to be able to plug it in, patch up some dimmer channels, maybe a couple of LED pars, a couple of moving lights or whatever, and you can do it all, and it's really easy, and it all yeah. makes sense. Like, but pass the Jimmy test in that regard. Yeah, I haven't read the instruction, mm. but I can already record stuff into Q faders. I can bring up channels, can I can patch things, I can change colors. Yeah, you went into the and parameters. We could even see the gobo types as you scrolled through the gobo world. Yeah, and look, I think for, for, for where this sits in the market for, for the intent. I mean, it's ETC, so it, it's going to be on the upper end of this scale of product, mm. um, as with all of their stuff. But it's smaller physically. It's less complicated than an ION. It's got the touch screen built in. And we're seeing more of this. You know, this is not the first type or first one of this kind of product. We've seen a couple of others. But I do think this is uh, especially good. It's well engineered. Yeah, it is well mm. engineered. It feels nice and positive. Uh, it's compact. It's got a built-in help function that has tutorial videos. Yeah, like, that's pretty yeah, cool. That's a good idea. Um, you know, you can customize these five of these six soft keys down the bottom to do what you need to. And look, really, I, I think this is this is a very very well thought out little product. I like it a lot.